just walk right out the door Don't wanna do this anymore Now I'm lost without you You drive me crazy out my mind How'd you do this every time? Now I'm lost without you You still be the one I talk to when I'm sad Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So we start with painting the face white and the only thing you have to care about at this point is taking makeup you use with water because makeup with grease is smudging very fast and makeup on water base dries after some time so that you don't have the chance to ruin your own makeup. One disadvantage about makeup on water base is that it hasn't a huge cover ability so you need usually more layers before you get your result. The next step is giving your face some contour. I add black eyeshadow to the nose and the cheekbones. That makes the face slimmer and moreover it has a kind of skull appearance which is fitting in my opinion quite well. With the same eyeshadow I start to make up my eyes. It is totally fine if not even necessary to be messy at this point. Jeff isn't the beauty queen, he's a psychopath. After that I add some black paint to the eyelid, so the contrast between eyes and skin is higher. Then you can smear the outlines, as I said, be messy as much as you want. We are still not finished with the eyes. I use some black kajal to darken the eye area even more. Then I use eyeliner to give Jeff's eyes a sharper look. At this point, try to be a bit less messier than before, because this step should bring some prickle in the mess. At least I use mascara, again to darken the eyes and bring them into focus. We are nearly done. Wasn't that difficult, wasn't it? Now, the smile. For the first step, I use red makeup, this time on grease base. I do this because Jeff's smile isn't a nice cut, no, it is a brutal wound, so the skin around the fresh scar is certainly inflamed. Accordingly, I draw the cut line with red makeup. You can also add some black paint as an outline to give it depth. Now my all-time secret advice. To fake the sliced skin I use normal glue, a print stick, and add little pieces around my before-drawn cut. You can see how it should look like in the video. Again I use black eyeshadow to paint the parts under the glue pieces so it looks deeper as follows, more realistic. The very last step is adding the fake blood. You can find it on Amazon or in stores doing Halloween or Carnival. Just pay attention that you buy fake blood for the skin and not for the clothes. You, you just walk right out the door Don't wanna do this anymore Now I'm lost without you You Drive me crazy out my mind How'd you do this every time? Now I'm lost without you So yeah, I wish you a great and spooky Halloween Please stay safe and be kind to yourself Can't you see now tainted love is all we have I wish you run so deep Now when I try to sleep I feel